Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 2109th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Traders, before we look at the chart in front of you, please know this is an extremely risky business. Stock trading, futures trading, any type of trading, especially those crazy options when you sell them short. Trading can be extremely risky. You can lose more than you have in your own trading account and end up owing money to your clearing firms. So please know this is a risky game. Try to always have a stop in and have it in first. And then join me at livewithoscar.com in my free live trading room if you have any further questions. So, gold for trading on 529 2020, which is a Friday. Gold looks buoyant to me. It's got a green on me. It seems to be holding well in this pattern here, sort of a mm, bit of a wedge, uh, you know, an ascending wedge, if you will. And it seems to have only had one day out of that ascending wedge and right back in. So with the green omni and the gold looking like that, I'd say if gold looks strong, a good bet to help that theory be correct would be the dollar looking weak. And here is your U.S. dollar chart, which usually is on most occasions, but it doesn't have to be that way, but usually trades almost opposite of gold. If dollars are strong, gold gets weak. If dollars get weak, gold gets strong. But that doesn't mean on a day-to-day -day basis. That's an overall approach to trading gold and silver. So you can't expect just because gold is down, dollar will be up. However, on larger moves, if gold's moving up and dollar's moving down, it makes sense. What you have here is dollar falling out of a very, very smart-looking triangle here. Really, what you could call this is a bearish pennant flag, if you will. Right? All you got to do is put the line here, and it's a big bearish pennant flag. And you've broken down from the bottom of it. You're below the 50-ball moving average. I've got a red omni for dollar, and you're in some kind of a channel on the way down right here. So... Looks to me like we should be expecting dollars to go lower, and the only thing you could do to trade against that maybe is buy gold, or sometimes when you get lucky, you can buy wheat against the dollar going down. But you can't really get short dollars. It's sort of a strange market. I don't want to be in the dollar index. So instead, I'd rather go with the gold trade. As far as indices are concerned, Omni's got mixed signals in the indices. Some bullish, some bearish, some neutral makes me turn to gold and dollar. So remember the gold looks like this. And by the way, traders, if I haven't mentioned, we have rolled to August gold. Do not trade June. June is in delivery. August gold, egcq 20 So don't trade June. We're in August gold. Gold looks bullish. And at the same time, I think this look to dollar is bearish. So with bearish dollars, bullish gold, indices acting sort of like a neutral undecided i am going to go with the gold trade that's about it traders i will see you all at live with oscar.com in my live trading room remember to keep your emotions out of trading in my opinion one of the best things you can do when you're in a trade and you start to get nervous and you think about moving your stop is say this to yourselves every morning every afternoon every evening and you know what that is stops are Roll traders, I will see you all at livewithoscar.com and I hope this video helps.